this film is picking up this legacy and is now going to bring it to the world. But there's been something going on for decades now that kept the flame going. And it's kind of a unique thing. I'm trying, I can't think of another example of this, uh, which is the daughter of the artist in question becoming kind of a self-invented historian, author, publisher, uh, and uh, very serious archivist and historian buoyed by, by the love of a, of a daughter for a father. Here's my friend who I knew back way back when, and this is Topsy Durham, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah! yeah. Woo! Great. Right. Jingle, right? <laughs> that was really nice. Thank you. Um, Lauren was mentored by my dad, and I was mentored by Lauren and Phil Shep, so here I am. You know? uh, unlike my two brothers, Eric and Terrence, who couldn't be here tonight, I'm not a musician, so don't expect me to sing. <laughs> I had a different call. First of all, shout out to Blues Master Michael Powers and author Sally Claxton, who are in the audience. And um, for more than a decade, <laughs> more than a decade, my dad, before my dad's death on March 6, 1987, he performed at the West End Cafe in the Phil Shack series. And then he toured with Al Bono's Harlem Blues and Jazz Band, which um, after being dormant for two decades while raising five children, he once again traveled and relished in the admiration of enthusiastic crowds and enjoyed the glory and recognition of the media. However, in an overall financial sense, compared with his contemporaries who stood on his giant shoulders, he had not realized that dream. Others took or were given credit for things he pioneered or arranged, which made others very financially successful and the late great historian Stanley Dance, who documented his oral history for the Smithsonian, called that a monumental scandal, or scandalous. Although Dad only expressed his disappointments to very few people, it was evident in his old cars, his worn out guitars and amps, and when our house in Brooklyn partially burned down, we had no insurance. To add injury to insult, he was also severely undercompensated by his many publishing companies. And when he died in 1987, the chips on his shoulders fell into mine. So I went to work. We formed our own publishing company, Swinging the Blues Durham Music, where we recaptured and reassigned his copyrights to BMG. An annual outdoor festival was established on the proclamated Eddie Durham Day held every October in his Dunbar neighborhood in San Marcos, Texas. Lauren Schoenberg is one who never forgot his mentor. He established an indoor month-long Eddie Durham Festival every February at Texas State University, which they have it in uh, the first week of February, I believe. Maybe it's three weeks, not a month. In 2006, um, in his centennial birth year, um, it's the age of the mother, not the age of the father. Remember that. He is my father, not my grandfather. <laughs> Impresario Paul Ash of Sam Ash Music Stores released 10,000 Eddie Durham commemorative centennial guitars, and Dizzy's Coca Cola, which is right down the block, displayed the guitars at the first week long Eddie Durham music tribute. Then in 2013, Texas inaugurated the Eddie Durham Park and Pavilion, boasting a huge park marker detailing his accomplishments. And finally, during the pandemic, I completed the Swing in the Blues Eddie Durham series of biographical books. Yeah. Woo. Found on Amazon and on our website, EddieDurhamJazz.com. Um, you can ask my husband how much he missed me during that period. <laughs> 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 computer. <laughs> so with a lot of prayer persistence, from taking practical steps, each of these accomplishments, not one ship at a time off my shoulders. It only takes uh, persistence and consistency to realize your dreams. And tonight we all experience a massive step toward another dream of Eddie Durham's and at the epitome of music schools, Juilliard, whom we thank Aaron Flagg immensely for hosting this screening. To everyone involved in this project, Chris, Ben, Carla, and Lauren Schoenberg, thank you 
for inviting my family to be in the film, which, by the way, is another first for Eddie, the longest title ever, Please Enjoy, Wham, Reebok, Boom, Bam, the Swing Jazz Music of Eddie Durham. Yeah. <laughs>